guys so I am getting ready to go grocery shopping on this rainy Sunday afternoon it's actually almost four o'clock right now and so I need to clean out my refrigerator really quickly I just did all of the dishes so I have some space to work with um, to prep some stuff when I get back from the grocery store I need to take inventory of what I actually have and what I need. So I do have a list already. Um, I have been using Instacart to make my list recently just to get an idea of what price-wise I'm going to be spending but also to keep track of everything. I have an Instacart list ready to go. I just want to make some space in my fridge so that I can really just come home, put things away, get some things prepped, and get going. So. So I just got to ShopRite. I'm gonna run in just for a few things that I had on my list that I can only get specifically here that I know Aldi won't have. So I need some creamer, coffee creamer, and empanada shells because I was going to make homemade empanadas. Um, plans change. So I'm making empanadas for dinner tonight. If I were making them another night, I would probably set my standards a little higher and actually try to make them from scratch myself for the first time. I'm not even going to waste any time with a new recipe. The rest of the meal plan for this week, I have chicken piccata, mashed potatoes, garlic chicken and orzo with veggies, calzones and salad hopefully, uh, jambalaya and cornbread, chicken and dumplings, beef stroganoff but with cheese tortellini so I'm excited for that one and then like I said empanadas for tonight so that is the hopes for the meals this week I have really been struggling to, to be consistent with meals for the week with meal prepping so with that being said today is Sunday and we've got a week ahead that we need to get through so I'm gonna go ahead and run into ShopRite really quickly it is so nasty and rainy out I am gonna try to make this a quick trip out. Let's get this day going. Alrighty, I got what I needed from ShopRite. I ended up getting my sweet cream creamer, pumpkin spice creamer, and I got some empanada shells, some poultry herbs, and some toilet paper. All right, I'm at Aldi. I'm not exactly thrilled to be here. It looks a little busy by the parking lot. Um, I, like I said, I have my list in Instacart, so I'm just gonna use the app, keep it open, and uh, go throughout the aisles and pick up what I need. I'm going to really try to steer clear from things that I don't need. So I'm gonna go ahead and run into Aldi here and pick up all of my groceries, and I will meet you back at home once I get everything in the house. Clearly a couple of things not on my list, but that's okay. I'm happy about it. Okay, so I'm out of Aldi and clearly there was something in there that I needed to put in my cart, which I did, and I'm not ashamed to do it. So I got that French oven which is basically a Dutch oven. I got me a Dutch oven now, baby. So I'm excited about that. And sheets, so my son needs a new set of sheets. I got that for him. They were like 10 bucks. They seem pretty soft. I'm really not a fan of microfiber sheets. They make me cringe, so those were soft enough. I don't remember what the, um, what the material was, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm going home. I'm going to put all these groceries away. I will meet you there. So as you can see, I set myself up for a grocery haul for you guys, but unfortunately I wasn't able to film that for you. Here you can get a glimpse of my French oven. I am so excited about that. 
and before I went to the grocery store I did clean out my fridge so my fridge was nice and empty unlike my sink with all of that Tupperware back there but either way I had some space to add all of the food where it needed to go and I did do a full grocery shop this is the beginning of the month and so I do try to shop for the month when I go at the beginning and then just on a, a weekly or bi-weekly basis I might stop and grab a few things that are needed here and there but otherwise I stocked up on all of our snacks meats produce and I'm really trying to move forward um, preparing for the month a little bit better and buying in bulk a little bit more which you will see in another video coming up here soon once i got all of the groceries put away it was time to get started on dinner just because i did get a later start in the day on being in the kitchen and so I didn't get as much prep as I wanted to get done. I ended up making some chicken empanadas as well as some buffalo chicken dip. This empanada recipe, I'll go ahead and link down below for you. I started by dicing up a yellow bell pepper, a white onion, and a few jalapenos. And so I found this recipe uh, probably two or three years ago. I thought it was really good. My family enjoyed the empanadas that I made for the first time and I really didn't have any experience to compare them to and so I've just continued to use this recipe and if you have any suggestions or any recipes that you would like to share please leave them down below in the comments. So for these jalapenos I did uh, de-seed and de-stem them just because I was using three jalapenos and I didn't want the filling of the empanadas to be overly spicy although I probably am the only one in the house who is more sensitive to spice my kids uh, put hot sauce on everything they just enjoy spicy food so it really wouldn't bother them I also had some fresh cilantro to the side that I washed up and I feel like fresh cilantro really makes the difference. Fresh does not compare to dried in my opinion. And so I really try to use it as often as possible just to enhance the flavor. If you don't like cilantro, I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> I used to not like it either. And then it just, something about it grew on me and now I love it. So I went ahead and heated up a pan with some olive oil and added those veggies and I pulled out some chicken thighs that I had cooked these are bone in skin on so of course I had to uh, pull all the meat off the bones take the skin off and any fat that was unnecessary but these chicken thighs I had just cooked the day previously just boiling those with some seasonings very low effort easy way to get some chicken cooked and prepped for another day and so I did season my veggies here that I have sauteing with some salt and pepper. And then I added one of my garlic cubes in there along with some tomato paste and a little bit of chicken bouillon just to bump up the flavor. And I went ahead and let all of that cook together, adding some water just to loosen it up along with some cumin and oregano. Gave that a good mix, added my cilantro in and I have a ton of cheese there to be shredded as you can see so I'm just going to get this empanada filling to my liking and let it cook for a little bit so that everything can come together I separated my chicken into two dishes just because I like I said I was making some buffalo chicken dip as well as these chicken empanadas once my empanada filling came to a simmer and everything was smelling good, looking good, I just poured that over top of the chicken that I'm going to be using to fill my empanada shells. I just stirred that all to combine and left that to the side to cool so I wasn't handling it while it was piping hot. And so... I went ahead and did that and shredded up some cheese. I've got some cheddar cheese for my empanadas 
and buffalo chicken dip as well as some mozzarella, some cream cheese. The Galbani mozzarella cheese is so good. It's so creamy, so stretchy, melty, all the good things that you want in a good mozzarella, but it is such a pain to shred. So I did let my cream cheese soften on the counter and I added that along with some sour cream to a bowl and gave that a blend with my hand mixer just to um, combine those two ingredients but also to kind of whip that cream cheese just so it was a little bit lighter. And then I started adding in some seasonings as well as my hot sauce and cheese and brought all of those ingredients together for my buffalo chicken dip. I always make buffalo chicken dip for, you know, an appetizer for a football game or just on the weekend, whatever it is, but I always use what I have on hand. So sometimes the recipe might not look exactly the same as it did the last time I made it, but I'm telling you going forward, I'm going to try to recreate this specific recipe because it was so good. I feel like it was just as creamy as it needed to be. The cream cheese and sour cream ratio works so well and it looks really thick here as I am spreading it into the dish but I don't like a really runny dip I want something with some substance and it's going to kind of just stick to the chip really well and so like I said it was just super creamy it was delicious I went ahead and put that in the oven and started prepping my empanadas So let's go ahead and get these empanadas made. I am laying out these Goya empanada shells on my parchment paper and then I'm adding my seasoned chicken and veggie filling and I'm probably doing maybe like two tablespoons of filling. That might be a little bit much but uh, then I'll add the shredded cheese on top of that. I'll just flip these shells over on themselves trying to keep that filling in the center as much as possible and then I will crimp the edges with my fork here so it's best to work kind of in an assembly line mode they come together really easily I like to bake them just because I'm not really a fan of frying things I love the taste of it but it's just a mess it takes a lot longer than putting all of these empanadas on this baking sheet and throwing them in the oven so it's just your preference um, I like to do this and they turn out really well I would love to try these with some homemade empanada shells and here you can see that buffalo chicken dip was so good I just could not contain myself looking at it now it makes me want to have some these empanadas probably took about 20 minutes give or take I'll leave the recipe below definitely try them out for yourself yeah.